ripping the alphabet and painting your nails. I can give you like 45 more seconds. Can you wrap it up in that time? Uh, sure, all right. Warp speed Shakespeare. The next day, Romeo hides out in a town called Mantua, so the prince doesn't execute him. And Juliet finds out. Your parents are forcing you to marry me! No! Yes! <laughs> I wonder if Rabbi Lawrence has a magic sleeping potion that can make me appear dead for 42 hours so I can escape my marriage and be with my Romeo. Actually, I do. Hooray. <laughs> Juliet takes the sleeping potion and falls into a deep slumber. Her parents find her, think she is dead, and place her in the family crypt next to the recently deceased Tybalt. Ew, creepy. But first she sends a letter to Romeo, explaining her fake death to him. But the UPS guy kinda got stuck in the mud, so you never got the message. Bummer. Romeo rushes the crypt and... Fifteen seconds! Uh, Romeo rushes the crypt and finds Paris, whom he kills. Sacre I am dead! <laughs> Romeo takes a poison and dies next to Juliet. Juliet awakens. I need to brush my teeth. Romeo, no! Juliet takes a knife, stabs it into her chest, and dies. Again. Their parents make it up a little too late, and Romeo's mom dies too. Just because. The end. Occupational hazard. I didn't know that break a leg with a figure of speech for good luck. I said I was sorry. Yeah, well, sorry doesn't bring back my big toenail, now does it? Ew. Uh, guys, we can't do any of these plays. What? How come? They're copyrighted. We could get sued if we don't pay the royalties to the publishers. Ooh, copyright infringement. I'm so scared. Big deal. Like, they always put those big FBI warnings before movies, but I've burned over like a hundred DVDs in the past month, and nothing has once ever happened to me. Get her. Uh, who snitched? Come on, guys. Who did it? I, I know it was one of you. Your big toe tail on me? I'll be back. I'll throw it at the audience. But <laughs> we lose more students that way. Wait, weren't you guys just talking about improvisations? Yeah. Well, it's like a parody. You know, if we just don't mention the titles and switch around the settings and characters a little bit, the audience will still know what we're getting at and we can't get sued. Plus, it might make something like The Music Man more entertaining. Hey, no real titles, remember? I mean, the Kazaka fan. Yeah, let's leave this one up to the actors, buddy. Break a leg! Ah! Sweet revenge! <laughs> okay, you guys ready? Let's do it. Alright, quickly. And go. It's the tragic tale of an abnormal brain placed inside the body of a bird. We bring you Franken Chicken! Give my creation life! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Uh, cluck, cluck. Uh. <laughs> it's alive! It's alive! Fire the monster! Kill it! See! Okay. And go. Goody Procter and Gamble, the court finds you guilty of being a Girl Scout. Boo! 
Sometimes life is as shaky as, as a fiddler on top of a cat, on top of a hot tin pan alley. If I lived in Jersey, yeah, but I would have a dog, a dog, a dog, a dog, all day long I'd be trying to move away. If I lived in New Jersey, hey, I wouldn't have to live there. Yeah, but I would have a dog, a dog, a dog, a dog, a dog, Go. Feed me. What? Feed me. Here, you can have some of my sandwich. Must be cookies. I beg your pardon? Must be fresh. Where am I supposed to get fresh cookies at this hour? The only person I know is that maniacal baker who's married, who's dating the woman I love. <laughs> you like some buttercream frosting? See. Si. And go. You want to get out of here. You can't go treating a woman like that expecting her to come running back. I don't want my girl. Bring my girl down here. Go home. You're so messed up you can't even remember her name. Uh, sure I do. It's, it's, Umbrella! Nope. Uh, Mozzarella! <laughs> Not even close. Uh, Gemma! Uh-uh. Uh. No Bella! You're not pathetic. Citronella! <laughs> I'm going inside. Mandela! <laughs> Salmonella! Do what? Do what? Do what? It's Stella! See? <laughs> and. My word, Professor Pickens! Why did we ever come to this filthy city? I don't think there's any culture in this entire city of Hollywood. I couldn't agree more, Professor Pickens. Let's do return to London. Oh, but the plane doesn't need for another week. Well, the only thing we have to look forward to is that party in Beverly Hills with the Duchess of Cork. She must be the only cultured person in this entire city of debauchery. Like flower? Like all natural flour? Great for like baking cookies and junk? My word, Colonel Pebbles! I had the most brilliant idea! Yes! We should go buy leather pants! What? What? Uh, you were saying? You see that common flower over there? The one twirling her hair. Exactly! I believe I can turn her into a royal lady of the court in less than a week. You've got yourself a bet. Like. Nice hat. Thank you. I was being sarcastic. You look like Boy George. And what is your name, you charming little thing, you? I'm Lisa. Lisa, nice. 
Simple. It's spelled little L, little I, big S, little S, little A, big H, and the I has three accents. I see. So, like, how are you going to make me a princess? Well, let's start with your clothes. What's all those rags? Everything I own is Hollister and Amber Crummy. These are not rags. Well, your jeans, they're all ripped up. Of course they are. That's how they sell them. That's bizarre. We'll have to get you dressed in Prada. You mean, like, those little fish that eat your flesh? Not piranhas. <laughs> Prada. Whatever. I want to work on your accent, too. Repeat after me. The snow blows only in San Diego. Are you bugging? It, like, never snows in San Diego. Snow is, like, disgusting. It makes my hair all flat. Well, it's been a week. Are you ready, Professor Piggins? Of course. May I present to you Lady Lisa of Cromwell. Like, what are you staring at? She looks exactly the same. Nonsense. Just wait till we meet with the Duchess of Cork. Colonel Pickles, Professor Piggins, you must be Lady Lisa. Oh my god! They told me I was going to be meeting a queen, but I didn't think they meant a drag queen. <laughs> well, I never. Don't freak out, you totally don't look like a dude. Have you had some work done? This is an outrage! Hang on a sec, you got a little buggy. I've got a what? A buggy? A booger? There, got it. Um, thank you. Of course, so like, gummy tattoos? Of course not. I've been thinking about getting a butt hat. A what? <laughs> you know, a butt hat, one of those tattoos on your lower back? They're totally styling. See. Very nice. We're out of props. Yeah, well, we're out of scripts too. All right, good job, guys. Let's give them a round of applause. end of the show. Oh, you have, have you? As you may or may not know, I am a student of mime. Oh, I didn't know that. How long have you been studying there? Uh-oh. Miss Bradley, you're back. Why did you leave us? I'd like to tell you that I was testing you. I'd like to tell you that I was just giving you a chance to prove yourselves. I'd like to tell you how proud I am of you both. But that's not what's really going on. No! This idiot locked me in the trunk of her car! What? <laughs> I must confess, I can't take the guilt any longer. I locked Miss Bradley in the trunk of my car. <laughs> You're not confessing anything. I just told them that. Oh, right. Why did you do it? Well, I wanted more artistic control. Miss Bradley is always trying to make people laugh. I want to make people think. I want to make people cry. Wow, I had no idea. What did you have in mind? I call it, silence is the key to the soul. Nothing but four and a half hours of mind pretending to be stuck in a loveless marriage. <laughs> I want love. Not a marriage built around convenience and routine, but love. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 